we're going to start this one out. I have gotten some of my uranium glass that I found with you guys on the quest in the last year or so. And picked out the pieces that I want to keep for keeping whole. And we are going to randomly break them up more and then put them in a tumbler. Tumble them up, polish them up, and then we can, in theory, have some things to wrap or make jewelry out of, or just some not so sharp different pieces of glass. So these are all uranium glass. Let's go ahead and drop the light here. And we will turn on our super high tech million dollar radiation. Radioactive detection equipment, or is known as a black light. Ah, look at it glow. We're going to put this in a tumbler. We are going to progress through the different grits of polishing compounds in that tumbler. And then at the end of that, in theory, we will have a bunch of polished pieces of uranium glass. In case you don't know what this is, this is an antique type of glass. And to color it, they used to use uranium salts which are radioactive, but that's how they got the coloration into it. And they are no more radioactive, they say, than the dose that you get from the sunshine or something like that. So I think it will make beautiful little things. Right now it's uh, cool little things that are interesting to collect, but, but I think that if we make them into little things that can hang and be illuminated and all of that, it could be cool too. So... No further ado, let's smash these puppies up carefully and put them in the tumblers. Ooh, I don't know why I'm making spooky noises. But hey, it'd be a spooky. Maybe uranium is spooky to me. It's kind of spooky. It's a little spooky. Okay, off to the shop. So this is how I'm going to go about each piece, is I'm going to use this sock. It's got holes in it, I'm not going to repair it. And I'm going to probably just carefully slide the piece in there. I could cut this on the saw into specific shapes, but I feel more like letting it be more like cool beach glass random shape. So I'm going to wrap this in there. I'm going to use a little ball peen hammer or a pointed rock hammer and knock it in like three places, not trying to make it super small, but just down into bits and bobs. And uh, then we'll be able to carefully dump that out in a controlled setting and do that a few times and then just throw the sock away and sweep up the little area where we are. And that will be the only glass breaking that we do. I like to do my breaking in a contained sort of thing so I don't have chips that fly out. And I already have enough obsidian around the shop that surprises me all the time. It's amazing how a little flake of that finds its way to just sit somewhere and wait for you later and then, yep. So if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's what we're going to go do is smash some glass. I have flatter pieces, I have the bottoms of some of these things um, for cutting into specific shape, but with these thick curved pieces, thinking rando.
That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and load the tumbler. Doesn't glow as much, huh? Wonder why the little shards don't. Okay, let's open up this barrel of uh, uranium glass. some fun looking stuff. Mm. Really cool. I can't wait to put that in the black light. Let's go dry it out and see what our gloss ended up being. Tomatoes and cucumbers. So here are the results of our tumblings of this uh, 
this glass I think that will do more loads I think that I will probably not use the smashing technique next time as some of them ended up with little fractures in there the fractures actually look kind of cool but they also uh, you know they're they're fracturing the glass so the ones that don't have it are pretty awesome um, I think I'm going to drill a bunch of these and not necessarily for wearing although you probably can wear them um, I don't think that it's that harmful or anything I figured to hang and to have some of them threaded and the rest of them I will bag up and put in the shop I thought that it might be fun for people to have little pieces of this to play with so I think next we should go into the dark room and use the UV light and kind of check these out in their full potential Ooh, look at just that even in daylight uh, this is as dark as my dark room gets this is actually just a bathroom <laughs> so yeah there is our glowy material again if you're not familiar with this this is just um, uranium salt that was added to the glass that gave them this fluorescence you can see some of these pieces in here have a little less of the material probably because they need the light to be right down there you go so it has to be right at the edge for it to glow where a lot of these others it just has to be near it or shining on it and they fluoresce so now the fun thing to do remember this is all broken glass in the first place and now it's recovered and we've made it into polished smooth little pieces of stuff that could be worn as jewelry or dangled um, I thought this might be fun for people who still go to raves if anywhere where you'd be under a black light here's some radioactive jewelry for your stage show but yeah so we're gonna drill some of these like I said just big gaudy crazy pendant pieces and um, then they can be strung or not and then bag the rest up into different bags and uh, they'll be on the shop them into beads or just have them for your little collection so you can have some uranium glass um, all different sizes and fun shapes in each one of these and they're on their way to the store and then these are the ones that I got drilled managed to get my drill through bunch of cute little pendants or review mirror danglies or window danglies or beads or however you want to look at them as you see I've got a long night of trying to get inventory into the shop here but that is that tumbler load 
so thank you for checking out that little um, experiment and I think we might do another load soon of all of the different cool colors of glass that we've collected. I brought home a bunch of little shards from all the different metal detecting sites and stuff so we have every color of the rainbow and I think it might be a fun thing to do also. So maybe I will see you there and until then please take care of yourselves, take care of each other and I will see you at the next quest for details.